Good morning and welcome to the October 7th, 2021 Business License Liquor Board Meeting. Um, we'll go ahead and call the meeting to order and start with the confirmation of posting and roll call. City Attorney Brittany Walker. Present. City Clerk Tammy McKay. Present. And City Manager Taylor Tedder here. First item on the agenda is public comment. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters on the agenda for action. Each person has up to five minutes to speak on a specific agenda item. Seeing no one in the audience, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the phones. Members of the public may call 702-589-9629. And make their public comment. Again, if you're wishing to make public comment on items on the agenda, call 702-589-9629. Hearing no one, uh, we'll go ahead and move to the first item on the agenda, which is for possible action approval of the August 19th, 2021 minutes. I'll move to approve the minutes. Second. We have a motion and a second for approval of the minutes. We'll start with city clerk. Bowie. Aye. Aye. And aye. The motion passes <clears throat> unanimously. We'll move to agenda item number two for possible action, approval of a class D1 package limited liquor license for damn good pasties, doing business as Cornish Pasty Company. Okay, again, this is for the Cornish Pasty Co, uh, which will be a new restaurant here in town. Uh, we previously approved a cocktail lounge liquor license for the restaurant. And they're seeking for a class D1 package liquor license, which would allow the sale of beer or wine uh, in sealed packages that for consumption off premise. Um, we received more information from the applicant. So their plan is to serve uh, 32 ounce or 64 ounce growlers that would be sealed and the patrons could take those off premise to continue enjoying. Um, they'll have about 10 or, or more beers on tap, including local seasonal and imported British beers. So their hope was that since those would be unique to the area, that their customers could continue enjoying those at home. Um, so we felt the applicant met all the eligibility requirements. Um, and we request that the license board approve the application. Um, and this would be pending the approval of the Boulder City business license and with the following conditions for this license. Uh, the licensee cannot display or advertise such liquor for off-sale purchase and any sales must be incidental to the on-premise sale and consumption of alcoholic beverages. Move to approve. Second. Any discussion? Hearing no discussion, um, all those in favor say aye. 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 The motion passes unanimously. Let's move to the third item on the agenda for possible action, approval of a liquor license change of location for Morisco's El Soto Loco. Uh, yes, Morisco's El Soto Loco currently holds a Class B cocktail lounge license. Uh, they're a license holder at 567 Nevada Way. Uh, they have moved their business to 1208 Boulder City Parkway, uh, the former Pizza Hut location. Um, 
The location has been approved for a business license. And at the time of the, that the agenda was posted, we were waiting for the health department permits. Uh, but since that time, those permits have been issued and those all business licenses, all health permits have been issued for the location for the business. Uh, so per the Boulder City Code, any location change for liquor license must be approved by the board. Uh, and we request that the license board uh, approve the application for a liquor license. Do you have any questions or discussion? If not, I would entertain a motion. I'll move to approve. I'll second that. Um, any additional discussion? We'll begin voting. All those in favor say aye. 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 All opposed. <clears throat> the motion passes unanimously. Chair, um, I realize on my motion for item two, I didn't make clear I wanted to approve with the conditions that were um, outlined by the business license department, as well as the um, pending business license approval. I believe the correct procedural mechanism for doing that would be to rescind the action or my motion. Is that correct, city clerk? If you wanna change your motion and the seconder agrees to it, then we'll, okay. I'll add in the conditions. Okay. Yes, I'd like to amend my motion on item two um, to approve with the conditions uh, that the business license department uh, stated that there would be no um, advertising for off-premise package liquor uh, sales and that it be ancillary to the on-premise uh, liquor consumption. So <clears throat> as stated again by Brady Prestwich um, and pending approval of a business license. I agree. We're Second. Good. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Um, we should probably vote again. Yeah. Aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. All right, item four on the agenda for possible action, that's approval of a Class G special event liquor license for the Nevada Beer Project and Boulder Dam Brewing's Fallout Festival. All right, so this uh, is a special event that'll happen on November 6th, 2021, uh, the Fallout Festival. Uh, it's being put on uh, by uh, an event formerly known as the Boulder City Bear, Beer Fest that used to happen each March uh, and happened uh, for about seven years previous to the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, and the event has always been in good standing. Uh, the event, the Fallout Festival on November 6th is a festival featuring beer, wine, and spirits, also featuring food trucks, live music, and retail vendors. Uh, and this will be held at Wilbur Square. And the Class G is for the sale of all alcoholic beverages. Um, uh, the event has been approved by the Special Event Board. And the applicant has submitted a sat satisfactory application and meets all the requirements. And we request that the license board approve the application for a permit. Thank you. Do we have any questions or comments? If not, I would entertain a motion. I'll move to approve. I'll second that. All those in favor say aye. 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 Motion passes unanimously. This brings us to our last and final item on the agenda, our final public comment period. Members of the public may call 702-589-9629 and comment on any item before the liquor board.
Again, if any members of the public wish to call in for public comment, the number is Hearing none, um, we'll go ahead and adjourn the meeting. Thanks, everyone.